On Sunday, Colombians will go to the polls to elect a president during a critical time. The election season has been tens of front runners. Are the scandals influencing the vote? And what about the more important issues on the table? CCTV's Michelle Begay joins us live from Bogota with more. Hi, Michelle. Yes, in less than 24 hours, Colombians will be voting for their new president. And CCTV went out on the streets of the capital city to find out what citizens are talking about before they head to the polls. Cyber espionage, drug money in campaigns. Those are the stories that have made headlines in the lead up to Colombia's presidential elections. But for Colombians, their concerns go far beyond the scandals. When I go through the process of choosing for whom to vote for, I look for someone who gives security and peace. This country has a lot of issues, like security, health, and the restructuring of the system. This image of fighting between the two leading candidates is degrading for all of us. In the final weeks ahead of the election, some have described the campaigning as dirty. President Juan Manuel Santos' campaign chief is accused of receiving 12 million U.S. dollars in exchange for negotiating the surrender of a drug lord. His top contender, Oscar Ivan Zuluaga, has had his own share of problems. A video was released showing Zuluaga being briefed about government intelligence by a hacker that is now arrested and facing spying charges. Colombia has lived dirty wars, but never so clearly defined and never with the perpetrators and victims so obviously outlined in a dirty war. Political analysts say behind the scandal is a fight between Santos and Zuluaga's mentor, former President Álvaro Uribe. Although Santos and Uribe were once allies, the president's decision to break with Uribe's policies once he was elected brought on a public feud. Now, Uribe leads the opposition to Santos's peace talks in Havana with FARC rebels. While this may be a critical moment to end 50 years of armed conflict, some political analysts say it will not be the most important issue when citizens head to the polls. The issue of the peace process by Juan Manuel Santos does not have the political relevancy in this country as it does internationally. The real topic is, do I agree with the return of Alvaro Uribe's policies? Polls show Colombians will be very divided this weekend, and none of the candidates will receive the majority vote needed to avoid a runoff election on June 15th. And in the latest news in this scandals, on Friday night, uh, the prosecutor general's office announced that the video where Suluaga appears with the hacker is, in fact, authentic. So we'll have to see what, uh, how this affects the vote on Sunday night. Back to you. All right. Thank you so much. Michelle Bege in Bogota, Colombia.